So there was some interesting news that came out this week about Spinosaurus and I just felt like I had to talk about it because it is a big deal. Basically from what I've read National Geographic are reconstructing a new version of what Spinosaurus looks like and it's really odd. It's not what you would expect. The sail dips in in the center and also the legs are a lot shorter than what you would expect. Now from what I read it seems that Spinosaurus wasn't actually a bipedal animal but instead spent most of its time on four limbs which is really weird. But since the evidence over the years has been building up that this is a aquatic animal, it kind of makes sense. Now we'll have to wait until more stuff about this is released to find out what's going on here, but it looks like more material has been found from Spinosaurus and that other specimens that have been discovered have been researched and it's building up to this new picture of what Spinosaurus actually looked like, which is just the weirdest thing you could ever expect. We'll have to wait and see if this is the most accurate view of Spinosaurus we've ever had. But if it is, it means that the image we've had in Jurassic Park 3, Primeval and Planet Dinosaur hasn't been right. And that's just amazing. There are a lot of Spinosaurus fans out there that could be upset by this news. And I always think it's a little risky to become a fan of a dinosaur where we, we don't know that much from it or we only have a tiny little amount of it because it's bound to change as we start finding more stuff. I mean, just look at Dino Chiris. I'm not trying to pee off Spinosaurus fans. I will put articles in the description so you can find out where I'm getting this information from. But again, we'll have to wait until National Geographic and other sources start releasing their information about this new reconstruction, but it is interesting. That's everything for now, but I really felt like I should talk about this because it's pretty much breaking news in the world of dinosaurs because the the image of Spinosaurus that we've had for so many years and then to hear that it's wrong on a big scale is massive, so we'll have to wait and see, but I'm just putting my thoughts out there on what I've heard. If the new reconstruction is the most accurate, then that just makes this dinosaur really interesting, but at the same time, it might be a little disappointing as well, <laughs> because, you know, the largest theropod dinosaur ever to live was just crawling around in water. We'll, we'll see. Well, thanks for watching, and as always, I hope to be back with new videos. I'll see you later.